Hello, this is Mike with AutoDrop 3D. Um, I saw this post on the Open S, uh, on my Open SCAD post on um, the Octoprint community, and I wanted to just kind of show a little bit about how you can do this currently in the system, and um, just to note that I am going to be adding a upload file button in the future so you can import files directly into your project. So in this particular case, uh, this user is talking about wanting to export an S or, or to import an SVG and then extrude it. Um, so I am going to kind of show how you could do that currently today. So this right here is an example of an SVG file. This is just off of Wikipedia. If I do a view page source, um, here's my source code. And what I can do is I can copy that. That's the uh, that's the source code for the SVG. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit plus and I'm going to call this star dot SVG. So now we have this star dot SVG file and I'm going to paste in my uh, my SVG code. I'm going to switch back over to my main dot SCAD. And I'm going to do a uh, an import. So I'm going to do import, and I'm going to say star dot svg, and I'm going to put a semicolon there at the end. And then before this, I'm going to do a uh, linear underscore extrude and I'm going to give that parentheses and I'm going to say height equals 5 and then this is going to basically extrude this shape so if I hit run there we are we have that star shape um, extruded from an SVG file and of course, if I go back to this uh, SVG file, I can potentially switch it up to something else or modify it in some way. Um, right here, it has the, the path information there. So I figured I'd just kind of show that off and show you how you can use SVG files to uh, create 3D shapes. Okay, thank you.